If you are, you are. And if you're not, you're not. But if you are right now saved, why don't you just say, I'm glad I'm saved. This is an exceptional day that none of us anticipated. Um, the late Mother Robinson, the first general supervisor, passed during the 1945 National Convocation. The General Assembly continued. Uh, Bishop L.H. Ford, in 1995, passed right before the April call meeting and the General Assembly continued. Our founding father, Bishop C.H. Mason, passed right at the end of the 1961 convocation and the General Assembly continued. Never in the history of the Church of God in Christ have we ever suspended the business of the General Assembly for anybody until today. This is an exceptional issue, an exceptional timing for an exceptional man, the chairman of the General Assembly, Bishop James Hunt. Let's praise God for this exception. I said I think we ought to praise God for this exception. And let the church say amen. And with the exception of the executive committee of the General Assembly, please be seated. We honor the presiding bishop, Bishop Blake, and the general board, uh, the board of bishops, dear mother, the men and women of God. You see here to my left uh, the special detail that not only worked under, but worked with this distinguished gentleman. This is the executive committee of the General Assembly of the Church of God in Christ. And I think exception will summarize so much of what will be indelibly etched in our memory. I remember Bishop W. Remsen was our chairman, and he was followed by Bishop Levi Willis, who was our chairman, who was followed by Bishop Frank Ellis, who was our chairman, who was followed by Bishop James Oglethorpe Patterson, Jr., who was our chairman, and then the exception. Never was there a chairman like James Hunt. He became our beloved chairman. And I don't just say that, Sister Hunt, because it sounds so flowery, but he used his time well. The short tenure that he had is marked with distinction. Before he came, we had no manual review committee. We had no codifying committee. There was no finance committee. There was no special recognitions committee. The time that he was in this ministry of leadership, he actually redefined the canvas of the General Assembly. He was exceptional in everything that he did. There were times that um, there were differences of perspective, and his was always the exception. Um, I would discuss with them the O.T. Jones legend and tell him about O.T. Jones Sr., who visited our little village. He said, I was in the house of O.T. Jones Jr., take that. We talked about civil rights, and 
And I would tell him what it was like in the villages of the 60s in the Midwest and say, you don't know much about that. You're from Detroit. He said, I was born in Alabama. Take that. We discussed the articles of religion. There was a first version and the second version. I discussed the second version. He said, let me show you the first version. Take that. We discussed whether we had too much theology in the Church of God in Christ leadership. I said, we don't have enough. He said, we have too much bad theology. Take that. I said the General Assembly is equal to the other branches, the Presidium and the Judicial. He said, actually, they're above them both. Take that. Even when it came to unreadinesses, he said, that's really not a parliamentary term. We only allow this in the Church of God in Christ. And before he became the vice chairman, we'd be sitting together. He said, and on top of that, I'm about to go to the mic and register my unreadiness. Take that. He was an exception. I said he was an exception. In fact, we did not have the same identification of one of our August dioceses. It was just known as Pennsylvania. Later on, Eastern Pennsylvania. Later on, Bishop Jones State. But he made it extremely clear every time he approached the mic as a delegate. My name is James Hunt, and I'm from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Bishop O.T. Jones Jr. is my bishop. Seemingly everywhere he went, he left an exceptional footprint. And Sister Hunt, I would like for you and sons, my friends, these grandchildren, daughter, precious mother, who he loved to visit so frequently. We're not going to part from the exception of caring for you. And Sister Hunt, so long as I'm able, you will have a seat that you have earned along with him. He believed you ought to be honored in every setting of the General Assembly and by the grace of God, though we may miss some of your homilies, you will always be honored in every session that we conduct. You deserve that recognition. My time has expired, but may I just say this? There's one area he was not the exception. Maybe I said this when he asked me to finalize your son and your brother, Jonathan, not so long ago. He was not an exception in this one sense. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the mortal will put on immortality and the corruptible will put on incorruption and we will exchange these vile bodies unto a glorious body like as unto the Lord and we shall all be changed and it won't be long. God bless you.